Welcome back to the Woodworking for Fun and Profit channel. Today, we've got a fantastic video that's going to show you how to maximize your earnings on every woodworking project you take on, from this point forward. This is for every woodworking entrepreneur or craftsman. We've got 28 killer tips to help you make more money on your next creation. Stick around till the end because you won't want to miss a single one. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. Now, let's get started. Tip 1. Detailed contract. First up, always make sure you have a detailed contract outlining exactly what you will provide. This sets the stage for clear expectations and prevents any nasty surprises down the road. Tip 2. Upfront payment. Next, don't be shy about asking for an upfront payment. It shows your client's commitment and helps cover your initial expenses. I strongly urge you to get half of the total cost up front, before you even order any wood, hardware or finishing materials. Tip 3. Efficient material sourcing. Now, let's talk materials. Shop around at various wholesalers to get the best prices. Negotiate bulk discounts whenever possible. As a business owner, you should get all required materials at wholesale prices. Tip 4. Reduce waste. Minimize waste by optimizing material usage. Create a cutting list of all necessary pieces and how much material you will need to get the job done. This not only saves you money but also benefits the environment. Tip 5. Accurate quoting. Provide precise price quotes, rather than estimates, by calculating all costs and applying it to the job. Transparency builds trust and trust means more business in the long run. Remember, stick around till the end for all 28 tips and you will pocket more cash with everything you build. Tip 6. Labor efficiency. Efficiency is key. Plan your work processes to minimize labor time and optimize productivity. Create duplicable systems whenever you're creating more than one of an item. Tip 7. Use cost-effective techniques. Choose construction techniques that are both cost-effective and ensure high-quality results. Make solid, quality joinery a feature of your work and that gives you one more reason to charge more. Tip 8. Customization upcharges. Offer custom design options and charge extra for intricate details or unique features. Tip 9. Hardware and accessory options. Give your clients a range of hardware and accessory options, each with varying price points. Tip 10. Subcontracting. Consider subcontracting specialized tasks to experts if it's more cost-effective to do so. An experienced shop specializing in wood turnings, for example, could likely produce pieces for you at a lesser cost than making them yourself. Tip 11. Delivery and installation charges. Remember, delivery and installation are services that you can charge for separately, especially for larger projects. Most customers will gladly pay you to complete the entire job for them. Tip 12. Consultation fees. Don't forget, you may be able to charge for design consultations and site visits, especially where multiple visits are required. Your expertise is valuable and after all, you are running a business. We're almost halfway there. Keep watching for more money-making tips. Tip 13. Premium Finishes. Offer premium finishes or paint options for an additional fee. It adds that extra touch of elegance and it gives your customers additional options. Tip 14. Project Management Fee. If the project is complex, like providing all cabinetry and built-ins for a monster home or development, consider charging extra for project management. This will help to keep everything running smoothly. Tip 15. Order changes. Clearly define your policy for handling client requested changes and always charge for extra work. Sometimes changes are required, that's life, but if you fail to charge more for those changes, you will likely regret it at some point. Tip 16. Overtime fees. If you're working late or under tight deadlines, charge a premium rate. Your time is valuable and so is the time of your employees and subcontractors. Most people are reasonable. Just be upfront with them from the start. Tip 17. Markup on materials. 
Remember to add a reasonable markup on materials to cover handling and procurement costs. This is standard operating procedure and it's something that is more or less accepted practice. Tip 18. Optimize production time. Minimize downtime by coordinating tasks efficiently. Time is money. Plan, organize and optimize your efficiency. Strive for constant improvement in efficiency so there is little wasted time. Tip 19. Employee training. Invest in training to enhance your employees' skills, improving productivity. But before you do, ask for a long-term commitment from them. You don't want to provide extensive training, only to have your employee leave and use what they just learned somewhere else. Tip 20. Warranty packages. With some types of jobs, for example, kitchen cabinets and store fixtures, you can offer extended warranties for an added fee. This gives clients peace of mind, knowing that if a hinge falters, you'll come back and promptly fix the problem. We're down to the last few tips, so keep watching. Tip 21. Prototype display. Having a bookcase prototype or showroom model can help upsell to potential clients. You don't need a massive showroom for this, any basic office space will do. Some customers are thrilled to upsize their order when they can see it with their eyes and touch it with their hands. Tip 22. Financing options. Don't forget to offer financing solutions for clients, making your quality woodworking products and services accessible to more people. You can pre-arrange this kind of package through a bank or finance company and offer it to your customers as an option. Tip 23. Discounts for referrals. Incentivize referrals with discounts on future projects. Happy customers can be your best marketers. Acknowledge and reward them and your business will continue to grow. Tip 24. Frequent customer program. Reward repeat clients with special discounts or additional benefits. Loyalty goes a long way. Any sale that comes from a repeat buyer is more profitable than the same item sold to a new customer, simply because they were already sold on your brand. Tip 25. Licensing and insurance. Ensure all necessary licenses and insurance are in place in advance. This is particularly important if you're offering delivery and installation services and or supplying woodworking items for designers, architects, etc. Tip 26. Customer education. Educate your clients on the value of your craftsmanship and materials. Show those details where your work really shines. Knowledgeable clients are willing to pay more for quality materials and workmanship. Tip 27. Competitive analysis. Study your competitors' pricing and services to ensure your rates are competitive. You don't want to price yourself out of the market. And you don't want to be the low price leader. Either scenario can be an endless battle. Tip 28. Customer testimonials. Encourage satisfied clients to write testimonials or provide case studies to help bolster your reputation in the marketplace. It's one thing for you to say good things about your own products. But glowing words of praise from previous buyers are far more influential. And there you have it fellow woodworking entrepreneurs 28 ways to maximize your earnings on every job. We hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe for more valuable content from Woodworking for Fun and Profit. For even more in-depth tips and resources, check out the links in the video description below. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep crafting those beautiful items from wood and earning those nice profits.